Today is going to be super exciting. Bulletproof cars have been around for a while, and today we're going to see how durable a bulletproof car really is. We have governments, we have the President of the United States, we have famous people. A lot of them use bulletproof cars for protection. And today we're going to see how durable the glass is, how durable the paneling is inside those doors, and we're going to do it in real life with real guns. Now if you don't like guns, that's fine. We're also going to focus on the construction of the bulletproof paneling. Let's get started. Before we destroy anything, let me show you what we're working with. A company called ArmorMax here in Utah was nice enough to uh, donate some glass panels for us to shoot. And we have two glass panels here today. One is for a smaller caliber gun, like a little pistol, like a 9mm. And the other piece of glass is for a larger caliber rifle, like the one I used in my bump stock video, the AR-15. So it really just depends on how much protection you want for your vehicle. This is the 9mm that we'll be shooting at the glass, and this is the thinner pane. And then over here we have the AR-15 with the bump stock attached. We're just going to be shooting single rounds today though. You can see the larger caliber here, and how thick the pane of glass is compared to the lower caliber. But really all of this stuff is completely customizable. Like the President's Motorcade here in the United States uses about double this thickness of glass inside. It really just depends on how much protection you want, and how much you're willing to spend. As far as weight goes, when they're bulletproofing a car with a smaller caliber, you know, bulletproofing it for a handgun, it usually adds anywhere from, you know, 400 to 500 pounds, give or take the protection you want. But if you're going to fully rifle proof your car, you can add anywhere from 500 all the way up to maybe 12 or 1300. Your gas mileage might go down slightly, but sometimes that's a good trade off for the protection it offers. So gun ranges are actually pretty cool. So right here we have different slots. Gun safety is a pretty big thing when you're at a gun range. Each of these little cubicles keep, you know, the bullets that eject out of the gun, keep it from hitting your neighbor. And then as we walk down range, right now it's safe because there's no one else shooting in here. This is one of the pieces of glass that we're gonna be shooting at. So we have it propped up. We have some of these little green targets right here, just so we have something to aim at while we're shooting. And then we also have one little melon right behind it. So if the bullet goes through the bulletproof glass, which it shouldn't, we'll know for sure. Now down here at the end of the range is something that not a lot of people see. This is what directs the bullets into this channel down here at the end so that they can recycle all of those bullet tips because there's a lot of metal in a bullet and it's always good to recycle. So you can see here, all these little markings are little bullets that have hit this metal panel right here and then ricocheted up there into that little slot so they can collect them and recycle them. All right, so we're gonna start with the nine millimeter handgun first. We're gonna shoot that pane of glass right down there. Let's do it. That looks sweet. Let's go take a closer look. Check this out. Oh man, that's so cool. You can see the impact point right here. You can see like a little bit of remnants of like the metal on the tip of the bullet. And then it just like absorbed the impact and fractured all the way around this outside. So here on the back side, it's still 100% completely smooth. My fingers aren't catching on any of like the glass layers on the back of this. If you were sitting inside of this car window, you would still be totally fine. Now these layers of bulletproof glass are actually layers of glass and plastic stuck together. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of penetration we can get when we start shooting the rifle on the AR-15. But half an inch stopping a bullet, that's pretty impressive. So we have the camera set up and our safety gear on. We're gonna shoot that same piece of glass a couple more times with the nine millimeter and see how well it hands up to multiple shots. All right, so safety gear is on. I imagine if you're being shot at inside of a car, it's not just gonna be one bullet, there's gonna be multiple. So I'm gonna empty this full magazine into the glass and see what happens. You ready? Sweet. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> okay, so check this out. It looks like I hit this part multiple times. I think there was an impact point here, 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 and here. As the outside structure of the glass is compromised, it removes the outer layer, but the inner layers are still fine. So you can see like this divot right here. If the glass is an inch thick, this probably removed about half an inch of that, but it still survived. I mean, how many shots was that, like six? And so if we go back here to the back of the glass, you know, feeling the back of it, I can, there's not, there's nothing catching on my hand, but as I move my hand over this, I can feel like a slight indention, and I imagine that's like the plastic layer bulging out just a tiny bit. Um, ah, yeah, careful, I just did that. Can I glass my finger? 
All right, so we're not gonna touch the glass anymore. But when the bullet hits, there's so much energy in that bullet. It impacts the glass, obviously, and the glass distributes the impact over the whole thing. So not everything you see in Hollywood is truthful because if a bullet hits a car, it's gonna shatter the exterior layer of the ballistic glass at least. All right, so we have a new glass in place and this one is an inch and a half thick. So it's gonna do the AR-15, the higher caliber bullet, and uh, we'll see if that melon survives. All right, so the safety is now off and full disclosure, I have not sighted this gun. So if I miss this first shot, Okay, so that was pretty sweet. So the impact of the bullet hit right here in the center and we can already see, like this is an inch and a half thick. You can also see the divot from the glass, you know, separating from the point of impact. The energy, instead of going forward, it immediately stops the forward energy and disperses it into the outward glass. And these cracks look freaking incredible. And this is the size of the bullet that hit that center impact part, right there. And I think this is one of those plastic layers inside. Let's see if we have any damage on the back. That is sweet. There is no damage on the back of this thing. So if you were sitting inside of this car, you would be completely safe from someone shooting an AR-15 at your window. So you know, everything that's manufactured has like a rating to it. And so this piece of glass is certified for five bullets, but Armor Max has shot this thing 20 times and it still survived, which is pretty darn impressive. So we just finished shooting the ballistic glass. We're still gonna shoot some of the ballistic armor panels here in a second, but let's check out the laboratory of Armor Max first and see how all this stuff is put together. And there's actually quite a lot that goes into this. So this stuff right here, this is like a little bomb proof blanket that can actually sit down underneath the carpet inside of the car. So like if a grenade or something is rolled underneath the vehicle, you know, it's full of Kevlar and stuff, it stops the explosion from coming up inside of the cab. Now, normally when you're sitting inside of a car, you're hidden and protected by the door and the window. So that's like one of the most important parts of bulletproofing a car is the glass and the door panels. So this is a Land Cruiser right here, and this is the bulletproof glass, the same stuff that we were shooting at earlier. You can kind of tell how thick this panel is, but because of the weight of the bulletproof glass, they actually have to stick new motors inside of the door. So these are specialized motors that can lift the 60 pound slab of glass. So the slab of glass will protect the top half of the person and the rest of the door is fitted with these bulletproof panels here inside. We haven't shot any of these bulletproof panels yet, but I'll make sure we get a chance before we leave. So we've talked about how to protect the driver inside. Now here in the front, protecting the engine is another important concept. So here we have bulletproof panels that are set at an angle and go all the way down in front of the radiator because the radiator is what keeps the engine cool. And if your radiator is bleeding out, then your car is not going to go very far. So these bulletproof panels right here are pretty important. There's also the same bulletproof panels that we have inside of the metal panels here inside of this as well as protecting the firewall between the engine and the passenger compartment and then here we have a few more bulletproof panels protecting the battery because also without the battery you're not going to be going very far another bulletproof panel here protecting the air intake and inside of the tires they have something called a run flat which is basically a metal band on the rim of the tire that sticks up past the rim so even if there's no air in your tire and the tire is technically flat you'll still be able to drive on that metal rim inside of the actual tire so like I mentioned before, there's a couple different packages that Armor Max offers. And so this is one of them here. It's like, you know, an optional piece. This has like that bulletproofing rounds because this is one of the weakest points when the door is closed that if a bullet pierces right here, your head is still going to be right on the other side. So it just adds another layer of protection. You'll have bulletproof glass on the windshield. For that twenty twenty-five thousand dollars $25,000, all of the main things will be protected. You know, you inside of the cab, but can go anywhere from 70,000 all the way up to the top with armor piercing rounds and stuff like that. It has, you remember that two inch thick piece of glass? If you have that installed in your door panel, obviously the windows aren't gonna work anymore, but that's the most protection that you can have while you're driving. So one of the things when you're adding so much more weight to the vehicle, like those panes of glass weighed a lot, it's anywhere from 500 to 1,000 pounds, maybe a little bit over that. Sometimes they have to upgrade the suspension as well. So this suspension is calibrated for the extra weight and it'll still ride the same, you know, just as smooth as a stock vehicle, even though this one's completely bulletproof. So this isn't a sponsored video. I just thought it was pretty cool technology. And this company, Armor Max, has been in business for over 25 years. They've had over 250 known attacks on their vehicles, but no one has died from being shot through the armor on their vehicles. 
so it's pretty good stuff. But it's also interesting to know that like this stuff does happen. Like there are dangerous places in the world. So seeing how the technology is able to protect people is pretty interesting. If everyone could just be nice to each other, companies like this wouldn't need to exist. But since there's niceness problems in the world, here we are. This car right behind me actually has electrified door handles. Dan doesn't know yet from the YouTube channel what's inside, so I'm gonna tell him to open up the door to see what's inside of the car and uh, see what happens. See what he says about the steering wheel. Oh, is this the shock door? Is this the shock door? Oh, he almost got me. Do it anyway, do it anyway. I don't wanna get shocked. You gotta do it. I'm going in. Is it gonna hurt? It's gonna hurt. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Okay. Ah! Okay, I feel it, I feel it. <laughs> Shocked me, I felt it. Okay. So there was a button back here that he just put, no way, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like, you can drop this behind you. Like if someone's chasing your car, that's hilarious. So like literally if someone's chasing you, you can drop this little compartment in the back and these things fall out to like puncture the tires yeah. of all the cars that are behind you. Okay. They're gonna make me put them back in. That's so. awesome. So it's pretty sweet. Like one of these buttons right here, he just had them labeled. So one of these is dropping the tacks or the, you know, the things in the road and the other one, this is the one that electrifies the door handles. So obviously as the car's driving, these will be bouncing on the road behind and like disperse all over the lanes. And then this box right here just folds up and clicks shut. Now he's gotta figure out how to stick all these back up in there and uh, get it locked and loaded for the next guy. Okay, so since Dan wouldn't really grab the doorknob, I'm gonna give it a shot. I've been tased before with that little case, but I think this one's a little bit higher voltage and I am super nervous right now. This is not something I planned on doing today. Are we good? Did you get it? Yeah. Okay, so I felt the tingle from my tip of my finger all the way up to about here. So I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, mm, so you can feel it all the way up your arm. It's stronger than that cell phone case that I reviewed a while back, you know, the Taser cell phone case. It's not something I wanna do for a long period of time. When the car is actually turned on and the engine is running, there's way more current going through that. So what I was able to do right there, it would be completely different if the car was on. So here's a close up shot of those electrified door handles. You can see the copper strips on the inside. So anytime someone just reaches in and grabs these, grabbing the copper, it'll jolt their whole arm. Like you saw earlier. All right, so we've seen the cars and we've seen the glass. And now we're gonna shoot at some of the Armor Max paneling that goes inside of the car doors. Now this stuff, it's lighter than steel, which makes it ideal for, you know, putting in cars because the more weight you have in a car, the more the gas mileage goes down and the slower it gets. So lightweight cars are good. But this stuff is actually so light that they've stuck it in helicopters. The ones, you know, in South Africa, the anti-poaching helicopters, which is pretty sweet. So this piece right here is for like the larger caliber rifles. But we also have this smaller piece of Armor Max material that stops nine millimeter handguns. So uh, let's shoot both of these right now and see what happens. So this square panel, this is the Armor Max 3.3. It's the same stuff they stuck on the uh, anti-poaching helicopters. We're gonna shoot it with the nine millimeter to see what happens. Let's try it out. So the bullet traveled, punctured into here and then traveled up inside of it. Because apparently there's 156 different laminate layers inside of this thing, keeping the bullets from penetrating to the important stuff on the other side of the material. So uh, we're gonna empty the rest of the magazine inside of my nine millimeter and see what happens with the rest of the bullets. And then we'll switch to the bigger caliber guns. All right, so there's about five more shots in this. We're gonna put all of them straight into the material and see what it looks like after we're done. That's crazy. It looks like there is absolutely no damage done to this, but you can see tiny little pinpricks where each of the bullets hit, and all of the bullets have been captured inside of the material. That's a nine millimeter bullet, you know, the smaller ones. Now we're gonna try the AR-15, and that should make a mark. Okay, so this is the AR-15. The safety is now off. Let's see what happens. So looking at the outside, it's seriously, like there's seriously no mark on the material, which is like incredible. But here on the back side, you can see a small little divot where the bullet hit. So it's just like this little tiny bulge. Personally, I would feel super safe inside of a helicopter or a car, you know, with this lightweight material inside of it, protecting against the bullets. Even with an AR-15, like stopping that much power is incredible. 
So this piece of material is rated, you know, within a five inch radius, it can be shot three to five times and still maintain its structural integrity. But, you know, when you're in a moving vehicle and someone's shooting at you, which does happen, Armor Max has had cars with like a hundred shots in them. The bullets are all spread out, like no one's gonna consistently shoot in one spot over and over and over again. So overall, today was a pretty fun day. You know, shooting guns is always a fun hobby for me. And whether you like guns or you don't like guns, it's still fun to see, you know, the science and the technology behind armored cars and armored helicopters. I did not know that they armored those anti-poaching helicopters in Africa. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'm sure I can be back here later to answer those questions or to blow up something else. Come hang out with me on Instagram and Twitter. And thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.